good morning and welcome to something Saturday so I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to sneeze it out here at the moment so there must be something flowering that's um, going up my nose. Um, today we are going to have a look at two-step stamping so it's probably something that most of you have had a go at anyway but um, you may not have known that it actually had a name so there we go so we'll head into the craft room and I can show you. Right, one of the cards that I did last week when we did the faux tiling, um, this uses two-step stamping. So it uses the painted poppies set and you stamp this image first and then you stamp this one over the top. Um, it's not precise, but it is two-step stamping. So you stamp one image and then you stamp another lighter image over the top of it. So that's that one. Let me just pop that over here. I was going to show you some of my other steps, uh, step stamp sets even, that also have two-step stamping. So the Friends Are Like Seashells, you would stamp this image and then you'd stamp the, this image over top and so on. So there is that one. Then there is my gorgeous little nuts about squirrels I just think it's so cute this one where you stamp one image and then you stamp this one over the top or potentially you might stamp this image and then do this one over the top because it's it's actually I've got a feeling yes so I actually put myself a note in this one I said stamp the full in image then line the image on top because it's actually a lot easier to do it that way so you'd stamp this one and then you'd pop this one over and it actually makes it a lot easier that these parts all line up together so there's that one there is also art gallery so this one again is one of those ones that you kind of stamp this image and then you'd stamp this one in a darker colour over the top of this one and it's um, not precise. So the last one that I'm going to show you and the one that we're going to play with today is hand penned petals because this one is amazing. So it has this image here and into this image you can stamp this flower and you can stamp the leaf and you can stamp this flower and then this one here you can stamp this flower and then I'm pretty sure that flower fits into there these two little flowers fit onto both of those and I think that one fits again onto there so all of them have something oh and this one has that that fits over top of it so they all have something that goes in them each of these images which I think is a lovely set and it does save you having to color in which is always a bonus <laughs> unless you love colouring in um, let me just get rid of that and grab a fresh sheet of paper and then where did I put my cardstock and it would be nice if I wasn't rolling downhill on my chair let's see whether I can persuade myself to stay still okay So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a colour and I forgot to pick out colours. I'm sure I did that last week too. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> All right, we are going to go with, I have Evening Evergreen sitting on top of here. So let's just go with it. And the reason I'm putting my mat underneath it is because these are photopolymer stamps. So you do need to have a bit of cushioning going underneath it. So hold it down for your count of five, unlike last week where we were doing the faux tiling and we didn't hold it down for very long at all. But that, that gives you a nice crisp image if you hold it down nice and firm for the count of five. You don't have to, you know, press it into the cardstock because with the Stampin' Up inks, the ink is always on the surface of the pad because it's always upside down, if that makes sense. So you can probably see it better if I hold it like that. And this is the bottom, this is the top. So, so really, you only need to tap it onto it. You don't have to grind it into the ink pad. Right, let us work out which of these goes with which. So we've got that one. We've got that one that possibly goes. I oh know, but that one goes on that one. And we should have the two little flowers that go for those two. 
Oh, and we have leaves. Not forgetting the leaves. Let's move those guys off to one side because we're just going to use these parts. Oh, I should have thought about colours, shouldn't I? Uh, let's see. Let's go with... Sorry, I have over here. I should show you this one day. Um, I have uh, over on that side of me... <laughs> Um, my um, my tower of stamp sets, which is on sort of like a swivel thing, so I can um, just move it around to where I want it. And I reckon we're going to grab out the Melon Mambo first off, in which case I definitely need my cleaner. So let's just stick my cleaner over the back here. Um, so these are... Um, I've forgot, completely forgotten the name of them. I will put it in the comments. Or, well, I'll, I'll actually just put it in the overlay, uh, what the name of it is. Um, anyway, so ink up. Just check that this is not going to be overly inky, which that actually kind of is overly inky. I'm not too impressed with that. Let me just give that a quick clean off. And... Also get rid of whatever it is that's clinging to my stamp there that's causing me a nice little extra piece on there. Um, so because it is a bit too clingy for what I want, I'm just going to grab a random ink block that I've got sitting around here and I'm going to press the ink. <laughs> Turn it round and press the ink this way. So that way the ink actually is pressed down a little bit into the block because it can get quite inky sometimes, the um, the blocks, especially after you've um, re-inked them or if they're a brand new block, they can get very, very inky. So let's just try that out now. That is much nicer. You can, with these ones, they are also, um, oh, I can't think of the word of it, but it, it lays down the image in, in two different um, densities so that you have like a darker image and then a lighter image and and you kind of do want that to show on this because it looks much nicer if it does so let's pop that into here and see whether I can work out which way round it's meant to go I can't work it out <laughs> This is so much easier if I can actually look over top of it. Let's try that. I think that was it. That's, yeah. So it's not meant to exactly be the image. So if you're if you're a precisey sort of person and this would drive you nutty, then probably, um, yeah, don't don't buy this set. <laughs> Um, I think it's really pretty. I, I love the way that it comes out like this. Uh, let's find... How about we go with some flirty flamingo? Um, or should I do them all in the same colour? You know what? I don't think I've ever done it where I put them all in the same colour, so we might try it. In fact, I might just... make it so that they are a little bit lighter. I feel like I did that one upside down. And then into there and into there. I don't feel like I did that one right either. Ah. Well, now let's go with some green. So what we'll do with the green is we'll actually use the same colour as we did the outline in. But we will ink it off. So we'll ink it up, ink it off and pop it in there. As you can see, they, they do go in different directions, but because it's not precise, it doesn't actually matter. You can you can use these to fill in. Let's turn that around and pop that into there. Wow, that one actually fitted really well. <laughs> and that. Oh, 
You see the small one has been designed to fit a lot better than the other ones have. And there we go. So that's my first image that we're going to have a go at. And let's give these a quick clean off on my stamping chamois. Yay, look, I finally remembered what it's called. So let's pop those to one side. There we go. Love the way that the stamping chamois just clings off the colour for you. So you don't need to um, worry about it ending up with colour all over you. Ooh, there's a bit of something dark in there. I'll pick that off in a bit. All right, let's pop these guys over here in the corner and let's move on to this image, which I didn't manage to ink up um, position very well on the block. Did you know when you actually put your stamps onto the block, the best way of doing it is to put it down on there and then pick it up? So I just thought I'd mention that in case anybody doesn't know. So we'll just bring in another piece. So these pieces are um, seven centimetres by 9.9 .9 centimetres because I know then that if I want to mat them, I can mat them with a ten and a half inch, no, ten and a half centimetres by uh, 7.4. And it gives it a nice mat in the background. So um, just little little useful tip there. Um, let's use the same green again shall we seeing as it's here and pop that down there there we go oh, such a lovely image nice and crisp I just realized that I want my um, um leaves my goodness where the heck have my um, words gone to today so i'm just going to do the same thing with the leaves of this one that we're going to ink them up with the same green and stamp them and then i think this last one i might go with the smaller one on there just because i don't really want it going into the flower actually wonder whether this one would look kind of cool no there's actually a stamp that goes deliberately with it I was I was thinking that you know potentially I could ink this up with different colors and do them all individually and and I reckon that would also work but but we have a stamp so that was that's just a silly idea <laughs> which one of these no definitely not that one <laughs> Oh, it's probably the one that's stuck underneath there. Uh, yep, that'll be the one. Uh, shall we go with the same colour or go a different colour? What the heck? We'll go with the same colour. Why not? Make my um, writing up of my blog nice and easy. I can just say, oh, it was this colour all the way through. <laughs> so let's just stamp that off. This is still feeling really inky, this block. Give me a moment because I just want to push it down a wee bit harder than I did. I'm just going to use a different block to do this. And that should be better. Okay. Move that across there. Yes. Do you see the difference between the colours? So this then sits slightly more precisely than the other ones do, actually. <laughs> I could be wrong in my saying with that. <laughs> um, and I do wonder whether I should actually just use that in there. Why not? Let's give it a go. Stamp that off and pop it onto there. Just gives that little bit of green on the bottom of that one. And we need the flower that is probably not going to match it. 
there we go and I just like the having it as a slightly lighter flower really so let's pop those guys to one side and that's my second one I hopefully you can see those in there and then last but not least we've got this one here which I completely forgot to get a piece of um, card out for so let me rummage for a second and see what I've got in here that would 7 by 7.4 that looks like it would be a nice size piece of card I have in my um, white and vanilla card stock I have lots of pieces like this which is where you cut where I've cut specifically um, A4 card stock into different sizes so that I know that I'm not wasting any card stock because I don't really like to waste card stock and I don't like having like lots of little bits of card stock left over because then I feel like I should use it and I don't really want to <laughs> Let's just go with that um, evening evergreen again. Pop that into the middle of there. And looks like the um, ink is making its way back in a hurry on this. So then we're going to pop that onto there. That looks a little bit lonely on its own, doesn't it? You know what we might do? We might just do a few random extras. And let's see. Let's go with inking off these ones. Thing with inking off is you actually have to remember to do it. <laughs> And there's so many times that I've done it that I've gone, ah, oh, bother it. <laughs> Which I'm sure most of you can probably relate to that. So there we go. Two step stamping. And now you know it has a name. Just in case you didn't know it had a name. And I'm just going to pop everything to one side. Obviously, I used Evening Evergreen and Melon Mambo. And that is what we've created how pretty is it i just think you know that's the hand pen petals set and it's got some really nice sayings too so thanks anything is possible congratulations and feel better friend i like that feel better friend i'll probably be using that on some of these um but yeah really useful set it does come with dies as well um i'm just trying to think oh look at that so yes that's what um, the dies could potentially look like for you. So it cuts out um, pretty much that. I didn't actually grab the dies out, but I might um, put some... Um, I'll put a link into my blog for you so you can go and have a check out of it all. Uh, that is it for today. So thank you for joining me. Do come along and join me next Saturday. Um, and do share the love on the video so share it with your friends and things and um yeah come back and join me again okay bye